Welcome to part three. Part one and two are linked down below in the description for you to check out if you have not yet and wish to. This will probably make more sense. Maybe it won't, right? We're figuring this out. We're figuring this out as we go along. Now, this message is about liberating ourselves from guilt and fear. And how we're doing so is, you know, we've been seeing that we are connected to the cup of lust and how we're connected to there and that there there is love here there's a connection to us and love and all of life and that this has been a sacred experience it's allowed us to restore wholeness a deeper connection to us and expanding love here It's allowing us to come to, to a deeper level of connection, understanding, and healing from conditioning. And we have been in the process of creating our Ten of Cups. But we're being asked to cut this, like this, not the fact that we're creating this, but cut this away of the past and co-create a new Ten of Cups, higher vibe, a higher vibe Ten of Cups, and then manifest this higher vibe Ten of Cups. Because this Ten of Cups with, that we were in the process of creating here was still connected to patterns of conditioning and overconsumption of this cup as well as the fact that not seeing that we're connect we're, we're connected to this cup we're not we were not seeing the full picture our 10 of 10 of our high highest vibe 10 of cups had veered off course but it's been all part of the grand master plan so now what we're being asked to do is cut with, with angelic attunement here because we've raised our frequency and we understand why and why. Because we've had an ending with the element of air, the self nodes, and our, our life's debts. We're healing from the mind of duality. And we've gone home to the singular mind of the heart, the north node, and expanding our life's purpose. So we have had the gift of sight and we've had an elevation. We've been gifted an angelic attunement, seeing what we need to see. And we're being asked with our truths, our authenticity, to cut ourselves, take this sword and cut ourselves free of our past and how we were creating. We're going to create a new. This is elevated. And this elevation is part of night turning to day and meeting up on the bridge of the land of the in-between. But not because we're focusing on building the bridge without, but because we have gone home to the singular mind of the heart and we're expanding our soul with our spirit. So we have been in the process of liberating ourselves from guilt and fear. And we just shared that message in part two. And it's in order for us to expand love. Even further, even at a deeper space and place than we ever thought we could. Because remember, we're meeting ourselves with unconditional love at a deeper space and place. So we can meet all of life with unconditional love at a deeper space and place. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay. Remember. Within the two of cups. An elevation is honored here. As well as he healing. And a connection to everything. To all of it. The good, the bad, the dark, the light, the yin, the yin, the yang and everything in between. As we expand through the center point. You have to see it's all one first. And that's the time that we've been in. We've been in the time of seeing what we need to see. Okay, so let's expand. 
And there is a message that's been channeled now for the full moon in Virgo that's sitting right here. We're going to share this when we meet up for the full moon in Virgo. But it has to do with the four of wands, the nine of cups, and the moon. Okay? And the four of wands, we know that this is our connection to the new world and what we're building in healing with force, healing with creation. The Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, but this is the thing. Our wishes are not trophies. The true wish is outside that window connected to the heavens. Remember, we're whole. It's not, we're not, it's, not, it's everything. The upper world, the lower world, and we expand through the middle world, okay? But there's a connection being honored to outside and our connection to starlight moonlight the light of the heavens that's that's the true gift with moon feelings instinct nurturing gut reactions comfort digestion home family conditioning habits femininity lineage privacy embodiment emotions sustenance self-soothing moods and mother this is everything we're expanding. This is why the moon called us to begin with to have an attunement, to have an angel angelic attunement to expand our soul with our spirit and to heal what has been happened in our Ten of Cups from childhood until now. And we were still creating with patterns that were not for our greatest good, that were connected to our childhood home with our Ten of Cups. And we were bringing them forth. We've been bringing them forth in the creation of this, the current Ten of Cups that we're being asked to cut ourselves free from with our truths, with our authenticity, with literally our connection to the light, literally, and co-create something that is higher vibed. Because remember, this is about our best lives. And we're doing this, we know, with love. This is the main message. Instinct, nurturing, gut reactions, comfort, digestion, home, family, conditioning, habits, femininity, lineage. And femininity is our true self, our patterns of our true self. Remember, we're expanding those patterns with our spirit. Femininity, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment, emotions, sustenance, self-soothing, moods, mother. It's all here. We're expanding our instincts. We're getting to a deeper level of nurturing. We're healing with our gut reactions to respond and not react. We're expanding from what it means to be comfort, to be comfortable, to seek comfort, to what even comfort is. We're healing with our digestion our home, our family, what family means, expanding all this, conditioning, our habits, remember we have to change our patterning, our habits are not us, and we picked up some bad habits here along the way, and remember bad is a perception, that we need to clear. Femininity, we're looking at the feminine, feminine. we were called by the feminine, we know we're shape-shifting with the moons, Lineage, we're healing our family lineage. We're healing for our whole bloodline. Mission work. Okay. Privacy. This is privacy has to do with a lot of things. I feel like this is, has to do with that healing from conditioning. We've been conditioned. I feel like a lot of us to like not feel like we're allowed. Look, we have to live under a microscope. Right? But that's not true. This has to do with we don't have to share everything. And this isn't keeping secrets like to get sick. This is I am a co-creator. I'm stepping into a deeper level of co-creation. And I may have been conditioned to, you know, speak about, you know, give everyone all the blueprints. I, I give everyone all the blueprints to the, my Ten of Cups plans because I've been conditioned to do this. And then everybody is tearing down my Ten of Cups. Eh, no. I'm not going to tell everybody about my Ten of Cups plans. 
I, you may be being called to have your Ten of Cups plans be private. And there may very well be a reason for that. But you do you, boo. What are you being called to do? This is what you're being called to do. Your soul is telling you what to do here, okay? Now, we need to embody being a human. This is something we came here to be, not do. We're working with expanding our emotions. Remember, we want to express this. We want to express this. We want to express this. Okay, we want to express it. Sustenance. Well, guys, sustenance, we can take any which way we want to. What are we doing? We got cups out here. Any which way you want to take that. Self-soothing. We're, we're, we're understanding what that means, self-soothing. We may want to continue to drink from the wrong cup. Because it's making us feel soothed because it's patterns from our past and it's become habitual. But remember, it's not for our greatest good. Our soul knows the way. We're seeing this. This is not something we don't know. We actually know this. Deep down, we know this. And we're working with our moods and the mother. Well, the cups are here. That is the mother. We encountered just said 11, 11. And our moods, man. We're healing with our moods. Look, we asked. We asked what we were seeing in the cup of lust. And we saw that there was love there. We have the King of Cups. <laughs> Healing from our insecurities. Our moodiness. With the Daughter of Cups creation. Moodiness. <laughs> it's a love. It's all love. It's all love. Let's not get tricked. It's all love. I'm just untwisting it. Okay. So, I remember, we shared some scribed information in part two. We didn't know we were sharing. This is connected to divine timing, collapse time, be present, be, but not just be, B-E-E, -E, present, in, be, be in the present moment. Everything is not as it seems. And the rest of this channel message just has connected to, like, bees, actual bees and seascapes and what do bees do bees are known for turning the negatives into positives they're known for transmuting negatives into positives we're creating and creating with those negatives the sweet nectars of life the honey so we're going to transmute <clears throat> our negatives into positives and create honey baby we're creating honey with love okay so Let's just see. How are we expanding here? Well, there she is. All temperance is here. Okay. So, the Wheel of Fortune is here. With the Sun. And the Ace of Mirrors which is the Ace of Cups. So here it is right here. And this is connected to Temperance, the Golden Flower. So we are in alchemy. We are officially in alchemy with the Queen of Stones. And she's the artiste. And the Queen of Stones is the Queen of Pentacles, our connection to this full moon in Virgo. So look, we're, we are creating art. And we know that the sun is here. That is part of this expansion right here. This is where we feel happiness. This is where we would mature the matter and restore pleasure. We restore the Six of Cups by creating happiness. So that's connected, of course, to the Divine Child. The Hierophant. This is where we access the 13 spheres of knowledge in the unknown. We have to get comfortable with the unknown. We're not having this all figured out. Are this, the, the co-creation of, of this, we, we better get comfortable with the unknown. That's getting comfortable with the divine. If we want to feel this, we better get comfortable with the unknown. That's getting comfortable with the divine.
divine child, the Hierophant. So the 13 spheres of knowledge, access to the feminine and expanding the, the feminine, the matter. We need the 13 spheres of knowledge and we're accessing them in the unknown. And then we expand them with the energy, the masculine, and we share it. We're on point here. So we need to honor the divine child. And there it is now, the two of mirrors. And once we honor the divine child, we've gone home to our heart within the singular mind. Look at that. We go from one cup to two. And there it is. We go from this one cup to two. From one cup to two. And here's the ace of cups. It's the mirror. Into me I see. Into me I see me. Into me I see two. Into me I see three. Into me I see three plus more. I see, I saw the light. I saw my connection to me and how I'm connected to everything. And now I'm going to expand that. And I'm not expanding that in my counterpart, in my other half, whatever, however you want to look at it. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, yo, you better do this, this, and this so I can be this, this, and this. This ain't that. This is who I looked within. I saw what I needed to see. I've gone home to the singular mind. I have to go home within, not expanding without because that would keep me separate. I have to go home to the singular mind of the heart and I'm expanding my soul with my spirit and my counterpart is me. So I don't need to worry about their expansion. I don't need to worry about my expansion. And I don't need to worry about what I need to do. I need to be, I need to be me. I need to be unconditional love. Yes, in order to be me, I may need to do, but I've untwisted it. I'm gonna be a human being. And I've been tricked to think that I have to be a human doing to deserve love. I have to be a human doing to deserve my divine inheritance. But I came here to be a human being. And we're really going to meditate and expand off what this means. So, psyche, the world. So we're in a completion here with understanding. And it's happening through a tower moment. Kali is here. Look, we've had a tower moment. This is this is why we're liberating ourselves from guilt and fear. And this is expanding our psyche. With the three of mirrors. Remember that it's all here. Cause remember, into me, I see. I see me. I see two. I see three. I see three plus more. I see my connection to everything. We've gone from the ace of cups, which is the mirror. I, into me I see I need to expand my soul with my spirit I find the you know I, I saw I saw myself ref reflected back to myself in the other half of myself here now I'm gonna expand my soul with my spirit and I'm not gonna worry about them I'm not gonna even worry about me I'm just gonna do this work and be free this is what I said I come here to do and I want to live my best life and my living my best life is connected to you living your best life because we're all one. Now, I've seen two, right? I see three. The Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups. There's three cups in here. We understand. We're understanding something at this point in time. What's being activated here? Something's being activated. It has to do with our multidimensionality in part one and what we spoke about being activated here. Part one or part two, psychic energy system. This has to do with psychic energy system and why we're having a completion here with the world and the tower. It has to do with our, our psychic energy system coming online. Hold deep at a deeper level because we're having a completion and embodiment. So what is being activated here? Okay. And this is connected to the message that we've been channeling. When the swords meet the cups. Aquarius, 
meets Pisces season. Night turns to day. The central sun enters Pisces. And we go from a nightmare to a dream. And we wake up within this dream to realize that we are awake within reality. And the reality, we've been tricked to think that we have no power here when we do. And as we step into these deeper levels of co-creation of every the story of us, that we are now going to amp up co-creation. And we're amping up co-creation of the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, our divine inheritance, and realizing it's our birthright. We're not selfish for wanting this. This is a part of us. It's our birthright. And it's how we're building this new world. Okay. And this has all been a sacred experience. And we're so lucky. We're lucky. Okay. The first house. Of course, this is activating the fear. The first house. Us. Physical body, outlook, self, image, life, philosophy, consciousness, opinions, awakening, self-awareness, arrival, expression, gateway, entry point. That's it. Remember, this is everything that we're doing right now. This is about... Uh, we meet up on the bridge of the land between we need to change our access point we're accessing here with creation our point of manifestation our point of attraction and that's what we're doing and we have to do this through the self and of course it's connected to mystery the numinous the unknown the unknowable esp psychic abilities the cosmos universal truth oneness source the unnameable shadow work inner knowing tingling ghosts other worlds space enigmas the occult and intuition this is what we are expanding The self, first house. Remember, this is the connection to partnerships. How are we expanding partnerships? We're expanding our partnerships through the self. And this is allowing us to heal from our identity being in another and not, you know, and in, intentionally or unintentionally holding on to them and not allowing them, you know, our shadow self holding on to them and not allowing them to change for their greatest good because we would lose ourself. And... And the fact that we're going to allow, we're going to shift that and we're going to allow people to expand into their best lives because we're all one. That's us living our best life. And that this isn't about, this is healing from attachments without codependency. You know, we're, we have to find our love in a situation without no and an attachment to without remember healing from conditioning we've gone back home to the self we've gone back home to unconditional love we've gone back home to the heart we've activated the divine child at a whole new level and we're believing that the universe has our back we have to heal from our ten of cups situations from our past from our childhood no we're stepping into a deeper level of co-creators and our parents, many of our parents, probably us meeting here, we're not very aware that they were co-creators, but that's okay because we are, we're evolving. It's evolution. You have to heal with time here. Deal with time. Okay, we gotta get to the houses, guys. We gotta get to the houses. Let's get to the houses. Okay, here we go. We're to the houses. The first house represents the self, sign, Aries, planets, ascendant, and Mars. Element, fire, tarot card, the aces. Mm -hmm. The aces. And the two and three and four of wands. So all the aces, we have all the aces coming together here. We know we need the ace of cups. So we have the ace of cups. 
the ace of swords, the ace of fire, and the ace of earth. Creation literally coming together. We're going to expand it then with the ace of wands, the two of wands, the three of wands, and the four of wands. And we know that fits into what we're creating. And Mars is right here. So the divine is here. We're following our synchronicities and signs. Desire, impulses, courage, force, heat, strength, competition, workouts, excitement, thirst, impatience, anger, leadership, engine, potency, willpower, motor, and sex drive. All the things that we're healing with. We're healing with force. We're healing with creation. We're healing with energy right now. We have a, have a recalibration with the matter and cleanse it. So... The first house is our dressing room for life. The place where our soul lives, our body temple and our spirit castle in the clouds, decked out in the colors of our ascendant sign. Ruler of our personality, the first house is the realm of consciousness itself. The jar containing the firefly of our awareness is the manner of which we pro project ourselves and the eyes through which we see. So look, we are elevating the our awareness. First of all, we're expanding consciousness and we're acting on it. But we're also elevating how we see ourselves, how we see others. Remember, we're meeting ourselves with unconditional love so we can meet others at unconditional love and expand love into new dimensions, into new heights, with new dimensions, into new heights. And we're literally, remember, this has to do with channel mess, scribe messages, divine makeover. We've been talking about divine make makeover. It's in this book. It's been scribed. We already shared it at a past message. We're going to be sharing it when we share scribe messages. We're probably even going to be talking about it even further now. So we have to, we're getting a divine makeover. That means our personality is going to change. Guys, we're going to change. This is our divine makeover right now. We're in the process of our divine makeover. We're not going to maybe recognize ourselves when we're done this process, okay? So the way in which we see ourselves is changing, and that's why we had to see that there was love in the cup of lust and how it's all connected. Our cosmic profile page, that's what this is. The first house is our cosmic profile page. It governs our approach to new beginnings and shows the role we are here to play in the movie of our life. The story of us. The place we get to test our freshest material. The first house is also the platform for our most authentic self-expression. The degree to which we feel empowered in this a measure of our overall vitality. So our habitual patterns for ourselves, whether they be passed down through conditioning, trauma, our family lineage, they these patterns had become our personality, but they were not authentic to us. They're not authentically ours. So we're healing from all of that so we can activate with what is authentically of us. And that's how we get to this bridge. We are express we are expressing our authentic self. And we're feeling called to. So it's a platform for our most authentic self expression. The degree to which we feel empowered in this is the measure, measure of our overall vitality, which we're increasing. We know this has to do with the central sun, abundance, downloads, regeneration, and success. And that's connected to the actual sun. And we got this message now. Three times here. And the divine child this year. So we've got the divine child and the sun. Okay, right? So... Planets positioned here in our charts show the parts of us that are learning how to assert themselves and the coaches who will help us become more and more us. 
a celestial body tran transiting the first becomes a guest star with the clout to influence our whole world view. You're being asked to consider your actions in the world and the person you purport to be are in alignment with your soul's purpose. Perhaps there's a part of yourself you are less confident about sharing or an opinion or belief that you think will make you unpopular. So see, we've been separating ourselves from our authenticity because we thought it would make us feel like be unpopular, but we're healing from conditioning. And we're also healing from being a hypocrite. Like, it's not just us thinking that, you know, thinking that we're authentically us. We have to act on it. Remember, this has to do with our personality and a divine makeover into ourselves. But at the highest, most authentic self-expression, it's divine. It's a divine makeover. A celestial body trans transiting the first becomes a guest star with the clout to influence our worldview. So we're considering our actions. The first card, the first house card is showing up to remind you of how freeing it actually is to be unapologetically you. Safe in the understanding that anybody who doesn't get you doesn't have to. You can't be everyone's favorite flavor and speaking to the unfiltered version of your truth will only magnetize more of what truly lights you up into your path. Journal prompt, write down 10 words to describe yourself and 10 words for how you think people see you. What steps can you take to align the two lists? So look, there's a center point being honored here to align 10 words for how to describe yourself and 10 words for how you think people see you. I don't know if you feel called to do that. And... Of course, we can't be everyone's favorite flavor. Would we want to? I don't know. Okay. So this also, it's all coming together too with Saturn returning to Pisces. And Saturn returning to Pisces and having a new beginning in Aries. And we are going to be sharing this message, believe it or not, is sitting here in this scribed message book. Because Saturn... The Lord of Karma and the Truth. Our connection to the 10th house and expanding and having a completion with the world. And we've met the devil here when we have this completion. We've met the devil and we've walked away from the devil. Because we've seen the light. And Saturn is returning to Pisces. So it takes like 30 years to do this. So Saturn's returning to Pisces, which is how we believe and how we escape. Now, we have the Lord of Karma, how we govern things, how we balance things, meeting up with Pisces that is boundless. Our connection to everything coming together, the two fish coming together through the center point and expanding. And this is allowing us to have a, an ending and a brand new beginning. And we're having a brand new beginning in the in in the sign of Aries, but it's going to take a few years. And we're going to know something. We're going to expand with the energy of Aquarius and just know. And it's happening through the self. Now remember, we're not getting lost on that this this is happening over a few years that you know Saturn we're having an official official new beginning in like with in Aries of twenty twenty six or something like that. I can't really fully remember. Because I'm all over the place. But we're not getting lost in time. It's just the activation of these things. Okay? Our path is uniquely our path. We're not getting lost on all this stuff happening without. Remember, we're healing with time. We're healing with the destination because we are accepting the journey. We're accepting the story of us. We're accepting that it's all one. It's all one, baby. All right, until we meet again, we'll break this down even further and we'll meet up for this full moon in Virgo. 
where we're grounding our Ten of Pentacles and continuing to expand our Ten of Cups even further. Until then, you know I am sending it to you. Those good, good healing vibes. I love you. Take care. See you then.